Chapter 24, Ninth Life Though it was with a pessimistic heart, I did wait for some time, staring into that monade surface, hoping to see his granite head surging from the deep. After some time it became clear my friend was lost to those waters forever. And then I heard those voices again, that music which had led me to the place. There was none to do but push forward in my punt and search for that music source. As I drifted through the landscape of that great reservoir, I did so with the great hope of human contact as a way of returning home. I beached the punt and made haste for the gentle beach someplace where that music was coming from. One final look out upon the lake and, th and to think of my lost companion therein. With two sticks from the vegetation around me, I fashioned a makeshift grave marker for the cat and plonk it into the shore. I had not been without my beaded jaguar vest since doffing it in that clearing, but it seemed the perfect marker for such a burial spot as it had been the marker for mine. I took a knee at the side for a moment of gratitude and contemplation, and I said goodbye to the jaguar. With that, I made for the hedge of grasses behind me in search of that nearby song. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend, the end of our Safety or surprise the end I'll never look into your eyes again Can you picture what will be so Some stranger's hand in a 